Hello, my friends. I want to do a real quick video here uh, just about the individual I met today that had cerebral palsy as well as diabetes. He was homeless out here on the streets. Mm. He, uh, someone had robbed him of his uh, EBT card, um, so he didn't have a phone. Anyways, I tried to call uh, CityNet. Uh, well, actually, it was Project Room Key that works with CityNet. And they were, um, unfortunately, unable to help this individual today. But uh, thankfully, another uh, friend that found my post on Facebook, a uh, new friend, I should say, was able to help him. You can see these sores on his legs. It's terrible. But here's the conversation he had with the officer. He didn't know about Project Room Key and couldn't take him anywhere. And... Uh, unfortunately, this man was just out there, and there's a lot of people like that. But we were able to get him into a place, thank God. Here's a picture of him getting into the van. Let's pray that we have more success stories like that. Uh, please share the video. Do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook. If you want to get involved, let me know. You can reach me at servingjesus992 and 2 at yahoo.com. That's servingjesus992 and 2 at yahoo.com. Uh, again, please share the video. Do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook and pray for these people to get the help they need soon. Here's a little conversation I have with, uh, well, actually, I should say the, co the conversation the officer had with this man uh, here in Buena Park today. What are you doing for you? Say go to the courtyard. Go to where? The courtyard. The Okay, have they given you bus passes for down there? I went to the courtyard four times, sir. Yeah. Three times on the road by that officer. Uh, I forget his name. I think it's Perez. Yeah. He's a bald headed on the stop in Perez And every time he drops me off, he takes this and one of my shoes. And then they give me a walker or a boot to get there. Okay. Now the aisle is about this wide. The walker is this wide. And you're supposed to turn it sideways and walk through these little spaces. And I have shoes with calls. So if I bump into a bump or something, people start yelling at me or getting flagged. Oh, well, when's the last time you were there? Uh, when was it? Uh, last time I was there was in April. What's that? Probably last year. Last year? April. When's the last time you talked to Cindy then? Last week. And what did they do? Pull me off. Say what? Pull me off. Well, what did they offer you? They came and talked to me and they woke up. But usually when they come, it's my sleeping time. Uh-huh. You gotta sleep when you can, you know? No, I get it, but if they're trying to help you, well, and they're here when you're sleeping, then they're trying to get you a place where you well, can stay that's safer. They're not really trying to give me a place to stay that's safer. They're just trying to put me in the courtyard. And every time I get to the courtyard, one thing is... They said what? They said what? They said what? They don't really want to finish that. Okay. And the guys that run into a place are called the drug addict drug dealers. So you get there, oh, your shoes smell like this, we'll put them in the bag, you can't have them. Your backpack, it's going in the bag. Now, if you're clean up underwear, go take your shower, and your escort's going to walk into the shower since you can't walk with your walker. Because the walker's too have, light. Have you talked to our actual homeless liaison officers, or just sitting there? I've talked to different ones. I've, I've talked to our homeless staff when we were for here. Which, which one? The ones we were for here. When did they talk to you last? They talked to me twice today. Today? What time did they talk to you? Time at 8.30. And then, uh, there's a little gay, little gay guy that runs around in, like, polo shorts with, like, a striped shirt and tennis shoes. And he was, like, in the bushes. And now I got in a fight. Well, let's, let's, let's stay on topic here. I am. When the homeless officers talked to you today, what was the last thing they offered or told you they would try to do for you? Uh, well, they took my shopping cart because I'm not allowed to have one in the they gave me a ticket for that. Obviously, you made no comment about that. I was covered in shit from here to there. Uh huh. And I had no soap and no money. Where, where are you staying at lately? Not here. No, um, like what? What spot you stay at? They won't let me back on the bus because my shitty pants. Where, where do you normally I'm stay? I'm trying though? to explain. If you will let me speak, please. No, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get some information. I know, but if you just like that, if you just give me three seconds, I'll tell you. Okay, go ahead. Beach and McFadden. Okay. And did they, did they get you a bus pass last time? I got bus passes. I got, okay, I got everything I need. But the thing is, they wanted to take me to the Howard Dome Street on Friday at my Disneyland. Uh -huh. They had a room for me and everything. Yeah. But they talked to me at 11 o'clock in the morning on Friday. 
so I sat in one exact spot all day until 9 o'clock at night, they said. I said, so, I don't know what time people's offices close. I'm guessing 5 or 5.30, so I'm guessing if nobody comes back to pick me up today, sir, by 6 p.m., then I'm going to go do what I want until tomorrow, right? He goes, yeah, so. At 7.30 in the morning on Saturday, I sat there all day until 5.30 p.m., and then at like 10 to 6 p.m., when I was just eight months. What's your last name? W-H-O-R-T-O-N. W H O R T O N W H O R T O N W H O R T O N Yeah, that's what I said. Five. What's, what's your first five, name? Five two four six six. What's your first name? Robert James Wharton. What's your birthday again? Five two four sixty six. And before you go any farther, I have 10 warrants for Super on the sidewalk. And they got a ticket for it. So, uh, I'm not going to ride you. Let me see. Let me talk to you over here for a Sure. Now, what was your concern, sir? I'm trying to get him in the shelter or something. Okay. He's talked to, it sounds like from what he just told me, he's been yeah. dealing with CityNet, which is our homeless provider yeah. service. Yeah, and he's also talked to our homeless liaison officers twice today. Yeah. So. I don't know if they got him any access to anything, though. What was that? I'm wondering if they got him access or what? I don't know why they didn't transport him anywhere. Uh, I'm what? not sure. Um, I, I That's why I'm getting in contact with him. If he's staying around, then I'll tell him to come reach out to him. But yeah. you got to understand, sometimes, though, things that we offer them, there, there's certain rules and guidelines people have to live by over there. And if yeah. they don't live by that, yeah. then they may not want to stay there. Yeah. That's but, why we have, unfortunately, this recurring problem. Yeah, I understand why he doesn't want to go with uh, the courtyard because it doesn't seem like a safe necessary for someone like him uh -huh. I mean he can really walk no I get it yeah <laughs> so I'm hoping that it sounds I, like I, we've reached out to him a lot he's well, well, even said that you know yeah well I, I don't know they offered him what he needed though I, I, I contacted Project Room Key today also okay and I was hoping that they could get him but they said that he'd have to work through city now 